Hello everyone, today we talk about the stack or last in, first out structure. So first of all, we need to define a class. Okay, let's name it uh, LIFO, L-I-F-O, whatever name you can use. Then inside the class, we need to define a few functions. The first one is the initializing function. Okay, so itself items. Okay, so this is our stack will be here. This is the initial initializing step. Then next we go for another function is empty and this function we will test whether the uh, the stack is empty or not this function will return uh, boolean self dot items I'm sorry I never equal Then another one is to add item to our stack. Let's we call it in LIFO. And here we need to include two parameters, self and the item. Items. Okay. Here we will append the item. Another function is to to uh, take out the item from the stack. Let's call it out my form. So here we need only self parameter, and this one will return the last uh, added item and self items. Okay. So here is better to make this. Capital. Make this also capital. Okay. So next, let's add another function to check the stack size. Define size of cell. This one will return the size of the stack, the length of self dot items. Okay. And the last function will be used here is to print the full queue or the full uh, stack. Print LIFO of self. We're 
going to use a for loop. some space comma then at the end we add space okay so until here we finish initializing our class for the last in first out stack so in order to use this, we need to uh, declare a variable which representing our stack. Let's call it my stack equal to equal to the one we declare here. Okay, let's call it capital L info equal to info. Okay, then we can add an item to this stack. So by by using my stack, dot in info, then we add the item that I want to add. Let's say we add number one then let's add another one another item by using my stack dot in for let's add two also here we can add uh, alphabet we can mix not only uh, numeric data or only uh, characters but we can add uh, characters mix the characters with the numeric by using stack dot in for and let's add set c okay so now let's check the status of our <coughs> our stack by printing my stack dot is empty so this one since we already add some data here so it should return false it's not empty anymore then let's print the queue okay I'm sorry, let's print the stack. <clears throat> we can call the function call uh, print lifo by using this command stack. That's why my stack dot print lifo. Okay, so when we run it now. If there's no errors, we can see, okay, so we can see here, after we add our data here, 1, 2, and C, then we print out the status of the stack here, then we can see it's false because we already got some uh, data inside. Then we print the full stack, we can see it's 1, 2, and C. So now let's start to take out some data from this stack by using... First we have to use a variable to store the, the, the data that OT will take out from the stack. Let's call it my data equal to my stack dot 
out play for okay then let's print out the, my data print my data but here before we print out my data let's add a new line slash n and then my data okay and then let's print the queue again using this one to see the full size of the queue again after we took out one of the data inside the stack okay so we can see here uh, first is uh, printing the full size of stack which is one two and c then to take out the last one that we insert because it's last in first out but then here we cannot see the, the second um, the second print of the stack. Let's see why. Which is here. Ah, sorry. It shouldn't we shouldn't use stack is empty. We should print my stack. Uh, uh, my stack dot print stack. So not this one. We should use this. This one will print the full stack again. And let's print a new line to make our data easy to be read. Slash line, okay. Let's check again. Okay, here we go. So you can see here, uh, false because first time we check the status of the stack is false. Then we add one, two, and C. Then we took out the C out of the stack then we here we have only one and two okay so yeah by this we end up our tutorial for this uh for for uh, for this class for today uh for stack uh coding so thank you very much and see you soon for the next tutorial